Hello YouTube, welcome to the 200th episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance Daily. Pretty incredible, if I do say so myself. Never thought I'd get here. Uh, and to celebrate, we're playing as Lazarus. Incredible, I know, I know. I wouldn't have it any other way. Starting with a speed downgrade, you know, we're going very far. Uh, so, like, I... I don't know, I thought of a lot of ways I could celebrate uh, the 200th episode, and I figured, like, none of them were really worth it. <laughs> I was thinking of just doing a normal run where I just unlock some shit. Like, maybe a more difficult character, I don't know. We'll see about it, and all that. Uh, but I decided against it for the simple reason that not really an Isaac Daily if I don't play the Daily now, is it? However, we are going to Blue Baby, as I've already stated. So, I mean, you can consider this almost a normal run. It's kind of like it, I guess. Right? Right? Yeah, you agree. I know you agree. I know you agree. You don't even have to tell me that you agree, because I know. I understand. You're like, uh, duh, obviously. I don't even know, I don't even remember what you were agreeing with, but thank you for agreeing regardless. <laughs> oh well, you know, I have the short term memory of a, a fucking goldfish, apparently. Not that that's news to me or anything like that, I'm just saying. Okay, it's alright. So, how do we want to die? Well, as Lazarus, you know, there are several ways to go out. Uh, accidentally is, like, the worst one, obviously. Um, we could die on a Devil Deal. That would probably be the best option. Because that means if we do decide to die on a Devil Deal, then the Devil Deal was actually good enough for us to kill ourselves for it. Right? That, That's the absolute best uh, scenario I can think of. Another way is a sacrifice room. I'm only going to do this, however, if we have some extra health. And, like, to where I can make it to more than just, like, three hits before death. Ultimately, I'd want, like, six or seven. Because that's when the rewards start rolling in. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Luck up and HP. Sure, sure. Now, uh, I, I'm under the impression that a lot of people seem to think uh, Lazarus has to die on the second floor. And yeah, for min-max purposes, uh, that's probably true. If you want to get the most out of the speed boost and the damage and whatnot, yeah, you know, why not? I go for it. I don't think that's necessarily true, though. If you can spend Lazarus' first life on multiple devil deals, I don't see why you shouldn't. Of course, that does involve, uh, knowing that you're going to survive until you get to the other devil deals as well. If not, well, it's just kind of wasted. You just wasted a little bit of time on the run. And, uh, I'm sure most people don't even really... Oh, okay, that's awesome. I'm sure most people don't even really care about wasting a little bit of time. But as someone who is a dumbass and consistently try to get... Oh my god, okay. And consistently try to get something out of boss rush on literally every fucking run I play. Losing time probably means a lot more to me than it does to you. No, 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 no. I know what you do. You teleport me whenever I pick up a coin. No, thank you. I'm sure there's a use for it. I can't think of it, however. I mean, maybe if you have the wooden nickel and you want to, like, get teleported out of uh, an error room. 
or a curse room or something to that extent, I guess. Doesn't seem that good though. I know, or, 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 if you want the benefits of, uh, like, a mob trap room, like, you want, you want the rewards, but you don't fucking do it. Don't do it. Just don't. If you want the re other rewards and then you pick up a coin to head out, that is definitely an option. Uh, I, I need to focus. Baby Plum is like actually kind of scary when you've gotten very little usefulness and hello. These are good. <laughs> Make no mistake, they are pretty alright. And I'm obviously going to take it because I want to die. Not, not in like... Oh man, I, I wish I were dead, like in real life. No, I just... I just want to die because uh, Lazarus needs to learn. And there was nothing in there. Now we're gonna go to the boss trap room. If I die in the boss trap room, I don't think I care that much. I know what I said about the multiple devil deals. But the fact that we started off with a speed downgrade uh, tells me it's gonna be a lot harder to actually get devil deals <laughs> than it normally would be. Which is terrible. Trust me, I know. That is the uh, that is how I'm thinking right now. And uh, these guys are probably going to kill me. If I had to take a wild guess. No, they're not. Nope, because of Glaucoma. Uh, Glaucoma is weirdly powerful against these guys, huh? The only boss Glaucoma is good against. <laughs> it's fucking incredible. Thank you, Glaucoma. You helped me out a lot. But even like on Laz's first life, we do have 6.45 damage right off the bat. Okay, well, <laughs> it doesn't matter, I guess. 6.45 damage right away. Which is only going to get multiplied. I think uh, the damage multiplier for... Is it like dead Lazarus or undead or whatever the fuck? is 1.2 or 1.25 that's a pretty significant boost i'm not gonna turn my nose at that are you kidding me of course not there's a sacrifice room that i talked about so if we get no devil deal on this floor i might be tempted i might be convinced even we'll see we'll see what happens you know Maybe we, uh, maybe I should use it before fighting the boss, because you know angel deals, and I I do love angel deals, but I do also want to kill myself on devil deals. Hmm, this is a tricky one. This is like a multiple choice test, and every answer is technically correct. But now I also have, like, double red hearts. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Uh, there are multiple ways I could be swayed into... And here we go. Into killing myself. Even if I don't get a devil deal. Like, if there's an HP upgrade in here, I might consider it. Um... I don't know, this is this is a weird one. <laughs> this is a weird one. Do I go for it before the devil deal or not? Nah? Okay, well, I should have just fought the boss, I guess. That was my mistake. I thought I could just find the, the you know? What's it called? The item room? Because I have the good item room item now. Okay. <laughs> Making some terrible plays, but it's fine. I mean, th there's not a whole lot you can do, though. 
again, getting that speed downgrade may not seem like much, but it's pretty detrimental, because there's a lot of fast enemies in the game. So even just that slight speed downgrade makes me think differently. Like, I can't keep thinking that I can outrun, like, those red spiders. So I should probably, like, move out of the way. I gotta instead think, okay, well, let's just hope that I have enough damage output to actually, like, take care of them. Fun fact, I didn't. I, I did, in fact, not have that. It sucks, but, uh, you know, what can you do? Uh, actually, you could just not take pills. Oh, yeah, and, and play like every other Isaac player. Is that what you want? You want to just watch someone do the exact same shit for like the 20th time in a row? Get out of here. Stop it. Uh, so. I know what I said about the secret room. No, uh, the sacrifice room, I mean. But I don't... I don't... Let, let's just see what I get from the boss first, okay? Let's just do that. It's fine. It's gonna work out. If I don't get any... If I don't get any, like, health upgrades... Then I'm probably just gonna kill myself on the sa... Well, if I do get health upgrades, I'm gonna kill myself on the sacrifice room. If I don't, I'm probably just gonna keep it until... Another devil deal, if I ever get one again, I guess. Because I do have a little confidence, but again, my speed is probably the thing hurting me the most right now. So if I can get like a speed upgrade, maybe? That's a range up. Fun fact for everyone that didn't know, uh, range ups are not speed ups. Yeah, now you've learned something. All right. Ah, uh, carrying on. First room. I see no reason not to check it. So, in saying that, I was kind of hoping uh, I would get teleported into the devil deal. With one of the chests. I know, that's very... That's... Very, very, like, cocky or ballsy or whatever you want to call it. Basically, you're banking on a whole lot of nothing. But, you know, just that's just what I do. I'm not going to end myself on this floor. It's alright. It's alright, it's Gucci. But again, only set I really want is speed. I know I've said that a lot, and I know that I'm probably gonna keep saying it, because it's true. Also, it's 4.20 p.m. Nice. Yeah, like, it, it is really, like, the only one that we need. Because while, while most enemy patterns and most boss patterns and whatnot are avoidable, um, oh my god. Well, they are avoidable with low speed. They're not really super easy to avoid. You know, and also notice that I said most. Not all, because I know that there are some enemies that are downright impossible to dodge without the required speed, so that's fine. It's alright. I mean, I've done worse, or I've done, I don't know, I've, I've done, I've done some impressive shit with lower speed before. I'm not worried. I probably should be, but I choose not to be. And honestly, who's going to convince me that I should be anyway, huh? Uh, actually, uh, you have a higher chance of uh, winning at video games if you are afraid. That's just not true. Like, straight up. 
You're trying to play me for a fool, aren't you? Oh, shit. Okay. Look. I know. There are many ways to go about doing this. <laughs> we take this. And we leave. We don't pick up that. And my reasoning is... I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just hoping for another sack room. And I can, like, give away all my health and then come back and pick up that, uh... That item and get, like, a soul heart for dead Lazarus. Something like that. I mean, that's, that sounds pretty good. If that happens. Odds are that it's not gonna happen, but if it if it did happen, then like wow. That's pretty incredible. No, I will not let you change my mind on that. Something else that would also be incredible. Um We do have a demon beggar. <laughs> we have both a demon beggar and a hell game in there. Both are very interesting. And a serpent's kiss. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The obvious choice is serpent's kiss here. I'm sorry. Sorry to break it to you. But serpent's kiss got nerfed. Yeah, but like, I mean, it's still extremely good. I'm not gonna let you trash talk serpent's kiss because it got a nerf. Because guess what else got a nerf? That's right. Brimstone. Now what? But you feel like a damn fool now, don't you? Oh, who am I kidding? You probably don't feel like a fool. People on the internet don't have any, like, sense of disgust, I guess. It's alright. I don't judge you. I mean, I do judge you. But under the guise that I don't... Just pretend that I don't, okay? So, we're gonna check the shop. We're gonna check the shop because I have the money necessary. Then we're gonna use the Demon Beggar in the Hell Game. Oh boy, that's bad. Until we're down to one full heart, we're gonna check the Boss Trap Room. And we're gonna take it from there. We are not going to make... <laughs> we're not gonna make Boss Rush. I have accepted that fact. But this is now Min-Max City. And this is what needs to happen, I'm sorry. This is how it is. I mean, what, like, what a fitting 200th episode, right? Where I start min-maxing. I don't know, sounds pretty good to me. Stapler? Fuck yeah. Frail? Pin. It's actually pin. Why the fuck would you give me pin? The frail is so much, like, scarier. <laughs> oh no, I died, shucks. I mean, I didn't really want to go out like that, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, no, it's totally fine. Now we have speed. <laughs> we have speed, we have more damage, we have more luck. Overall, we just have more. Uh, that wasn't like a devil deal. But, we did get a stapler out of it. So... Ah, shit. So it's hard to feel bad about it. You know what I mean? I am fucking stupid. I am so stupid. I claim to be min-maxing, but- and then I, like, just waste a lot of health. Great job, me. Yo, holy fuck! We have fucking Leviathan? 
Excuse me. Uh, you can't make this shit up? I don't even know what items give me that. Like, Abaddon, Pact, and Pentagram, probably? Yeah. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Even without boosted damage, we have 11. 11, 11. <laughs> nice. I like it. I do. This run is pretty good. I've actually had, like, somewhat decent luck with Lazy Boy recently. So I'm sorry, Lazarus, for always talking shit. You know how it is. You know, hearts, sure. You haven't exactly changed much, so... I mean, can you really blame me, though? Like, I don't know, man. I don't think you can. I don't think you should. Uh, I don't know when... I was about to ask, when did we get a fire rate up? As if we didn't just get a pact on the last floor. Nice. I was also about to ask, where's my will to live when I saw this room? Then I realized, uh, it, it probably doesn't exist. Holy hell. Oh my... Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Golden hearts don't even do anything. I mean, they drop money, but... F find me the fucker that's gonna be like, Oh, hell yeah, money. Yeah, exactly. No one. No one does that. Except for the people that play the Keeper. But who plays the Keeper? Like, who doesn't have absolutely everything unlocked as the Keeper already? Noobs, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm an elitist. I've been playing this game for longer than someone else. Therefore, I feel like I can make fun of them. That's how the world works, right? Uh, I'll take mom's purse. Which also gives me yes mother, wow, okay. That's, uh, that's not bad. I don't really care for the butt knife that much, but, I mean... It's something, isn't it? Are you gonna tell me that it's nothing? No, that would be ridiculous. I also like the fire item. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. But the reason why I like it is not because it's powerful. Because it's not. Make no mistake. The reason why I like it... Is because it lets me see how many times I've been hit on a floor. Whether it be... Uh, self-sacrifice, health, or just normal. And for some reason, I just really like that. I'm stupid like that. I I know. Trust me. I understand. Oh, so you enjoy seeing how much you fail? Yes. No, like, that's just... <laughs> that's actually it. I just enjoy seeing how much I fail. That, that's all. And no secret room leads into that. It's a shame, because I'm not going to go down to one red heart with all this health. Because now we don't want to die. I know! Hard to imagine! Now we're actually playing Lazarus like he's a normal character again. It's crazy how much the world changes in the span of just a few minutes. It really is. We, like, we don't put enough value on killing people for them to come back even stronger. Uh, just for the record, I do not advocate killing people in case they turn out stronger in the end. Somehow. This is purely a video game. Learn to differentiate between real life and fiction. Thank you. <laughs> Then again, I say that, but, like, people claim that Jesus 
came back from the dead, so... What do I know, I guess? Clearly I don't know much. Resurrection is possible, it just takes three days. If like a friend of yours or something passed away recently, just wait three days. They might come back, you never know. Again, this is a joke. I don't know why I feel like I need to specify that, but I would feel absolutely horrible if a kid found this video somehow. Um, and they heard me say this, and I gave them false hope. Your friend is dead. Get over it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. Well, I, I, yeah, no. R recording uh, brings out the worst in me, but I also like to think that that's what makes it somewhat enjoyable. I'm gonna take this. Thank you. The tower. The tower. To think this run started with Curse of the Tower. And me not picking it up, granted, but it did start with Curse of the Tower regardless. And now look at it. Does this work for the fires? It doesn't. But it works for the cube of meat, so it's something. Why wouldn't it work for the fire, though? That doesn't make any sense. Oh well. Live and let live. I don't think that's how you use that, but it's fine. Holy shit. The clutch. The tooth and nail clutch. I did not plan for that whatsoever. That was pure luck. And I also want to point out, Edmund, I never get lump of coal anymore. Uh, granted, part of that is because I rarely ever take devil deals anymore. I'm just saying, like, why? No, but like, why though? Ah, no, but like, listen, what? Why do I have two bones? Oh, because of the trinket. That works for slipped rib as well. Man, I still have so much to learn about this game. I mean, obviously, it just came out like, uh... Oh my god, it came out several months ago now. That is a yikes moment for sure. Pheromones. I was hesitant to take that because uh, before... Okay. Before making this video, I actually... And, uh, now is when I, <laughs> now is when I contradict myself. I actually was playing a run as the Keeper, uh, and I had, like, the glowing hourglass, and, uh, I picked up a pill that was a speed down pill, and I went back in time, and I remembered that pill being colored white and cyan, so that I would never take it again. So, I almost fucking, like, gave myself the Pavlovian response of just not taking any white and cyan pills in this game, but, nah. Alright. Different run, different world. That's what I never say. But I'm gonna pretend like that's what I say. Because it makes me feel good. That's the only reason why. Also, it seems to be giving me, like, second level cube of meat sometimes. I'm sure that's also because of the trinket, but that is a weird way for it to work. Like, it makes sense. Just because something makes- oh my god, a rainbow? Hell yeah, bro. Just because something makes sense doesn't mean it's not weird. Alright, we're gonna take this. And we're gonna gulp it. Why? Because I can. Most things I do, I do because I can do it. And no other reason. Alright. Well, uh... 
glad to see you don't you still don't like try. That's nice. Giving me the free win and all. I I do appreciate it. It may not seem like I appreciate it, but I do. I really do. Yeah. Good mans. Uh, if you know anything about me, you know exactly where I'm gonna use the world card. I'm gonna save it for the worst floor. I don't know what the worst floors are in this game. Not counting alt path, because we can't do alt path on dailies. It's actually the second to last floors. AKA the cathedral and darkroom. I think I said this earlier today. When I was recording, uh, yesterday's daily. I know that sounds weird, but trust me, it makes sense. You don't understand. Nobody understands. Fuck off, tower. I didn't take you for a reason. Yeah, no, this is like a really strong run. Uh, I love seeing other Isaac players. Especially as extremers. Um, try to do a run as like a somewhat difficult character. And then they have stats that are like 4 fire rate and 9 damage. And they're like, oh yeah, you know, our stats are kind of lacking right now. But uh, maybe we can like get lucky and win. And it's like, that's plenty good stats. Like, you... You shouldn't need much more. Like, what? <laughs> Four fire rate and nine damage isn't good enough for you? That's absurd. And, like, that's not even counting all the other items that they also have. Like, that's literally just bringing in the stats and not any of the other bonuses they might have. Uh, I don't understand. Again, maybe I'm speaking from like an elitist standpoint where I played this game for so long that I can manage with uh, most builds. Wheel of Fortune? Wait, isn't this an insane? Whoa, 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 whoa. I think Wheel of Fortune is actually like insane. Throw the dice of fate. Maybe I'm... No, I, I do think it is reverse Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so reveal... If I'm not wrong, which I might be, I might very well be, this is gonna spawn a reroll machine? I think? So, if on the next floor we find a secret room maybe, and the secret room has either a chest or an item in it. We can get some good shit out of it. I'm just saying. Would be pretty cool. You know? Pretty awesome. Pretty epic. I gotta say, pretty epic. Come on, Isaac. Just, just die. Okay? The only scary thing about the Isaac fight... Is the fucking beams of light. The rest of the fight is kind of just like an easier blue baby. I'd say. You know. TBH to be honest. Isaac. My guy. You don't stand a chance. Why are you fighting so hard for this? Like, what, what, are, what do you gain if you kill me? Like, I gain satisfaction and a little bit more credit as a somewhat decent Isaac player. What do you gain? Nothing. I'm just gonna come back at a later date and kill you. Stupid. Dumb. Meanwhile... In our universe. Open. Sesame. 
Though I will say, none of these items are really that good. <laughs> uh... Oh boy. I was sorely mistaken on what it did. But you know, I think... I think this is a better run. I think this is just straight up a better run. So I was wrong, but I don't, I don't care that I was wrong, I don't think. We also have like free mapping every six rooms, um, and if anyone has a problem with that, you can take it up with my manager. Who's my manager you ask? Oh, stupid, of course I don't have a manager. Come on. Uh, but it seems like we kept... We kept some of our items. I think. Did we? Uh, we kept Guppy's collar. We kept the revenge flame. We kept the... Uh, we kept the syringe. So I guess this allows us to keep some things. Which is just more confusing than it needs to be. May your love bring protection. I don't know what that does. But you better believe I'm gonna use it on the fight. I don't have flight anymore. Fuck. <laughs> we did not keep pentagram. Uh, we did keep Buddy in a box. Thank God. Like, that was... That was the game-winning item. Did I already have Buddy in a box? I feel like I did. <laughs> oh, God. Now I'm confusing myself. Was that my keeper run? Why do I have two? Oh, because our, we kept our trinkets. We kept our trinkets. This is fucking weird, man. I mean, I like it. It's basically like a... A one or a six room. And I can appreciate that on certain runs, for sure. But then the question is, what the fuck reverse card spawns a reroll machine? Because I know one of them do. And I always forget which one. Hierophant, alright. May my love bring protection. Hoya! Uh, what did that do? It turned me into Magdalene, and it gave me more health. Okay. <laughs> uh, nice. Uh, cool. I. <laughs> weird all right uh here's here's the leaderboards for yesterday wink leaderboards you know 127 not terrible as per usual not terrible but not great but if you did enjoy this 200 episode extravaganza or whatever the fuck you want to call it like and subscribe as it does help me out quite a bit which twitter discord are in the description and, uh, I will see you tomorrow. Like, actually tomorrow this time. Goodbye and have a great day.